Hello everyone, so just a short one here. Ukraine has revealed for the first time its new laser weapon system, the Trizob, which means trident, apparently, when I run it through Google Translator. The video is released by Ukraine's commander of the Unmanned Systems Forces during a conference today. So, join the conference and on the video. Ukraine says the laser is capable of destroying attack drones, bombs, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles at a range of up to 3,000 metres and helicopters, aircraft and recon drones at a range of up to 5,000. Additionally, additionally, Ukraine says the laser can be used for blind drones, blind cruise missiles, helicopters and airplanes at a range of up to 10,000 metres. The video shows it being tested here against a static ground target, setting it on fire very rapidly. We also see it being tested against a dummy drone. The video shows that the system is mounted in the back of a van, and targeting is done manually with a joystick, as we see the operator using it. I guess the next step here would be automating it, so it doesn't need the operator to aim manually. This system was announced back in December, with Ukraine reporting that we developed it in a few months. I wonder if it was independently developed or if they had technical support and advice from other nations who developed a laser weapon in order to speed up the process a bit. Now, although Ukraine told us the range, we don't know other details such as the operating cost. But if the UK Dragonfire is anything to go by, I'm going to guess it's likely going to be cheap to operate. We also don't know the power needed to operate this. But from what we can tell in the video, it appears to need just one van rather than have a separate generator or vehicle carrying the power supply generators. So potentially, these could be made into quite mobile anti-drone weapon systems, as the power needed doesn't seem to be huge. Now, the rangers mentioned are shown on this map here, very roughly. So capable of destroying attack drones, bombs, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles at a distance of up to 3,000 metres or 3 kilometres, helicopters, aircraft and recon drones up to 5,000 metres and blind drones, missiles, helicopters and airplanes at a range of up to 10,000 metres. So Ukraine says it's capable of destroying aircraft and helicopters, but I think that's very unlikely to happen. Even Russian helicopters like the Car-52 operate at ranges of around 10 kilometres from the front lines now to launch Elmyor missiles out of range of manpads. Other aircraft like the Su-34 even further afield. Now, it is possible that the Su-25s may enter the blinding range, however. They tend to launch their rockets now about 5 to 8 kilometers from the front line at an upward arc, and they do occasionally spray stray into manpad or SAM range. So it is feasible that if Ukraine deploys these near the front lines, they could potentially blind the Su-25 during its operations. But I do find it unlikely they'll be deployed near the front. I think these will likely serve an anti-drone and anti-missile role around key areas like so. The range isn't huge. 3 kilometers would make the drone of a target pretty close to the system. So these, I guess, would be deployed somewhere like this. So along known flight and entry routes for Russian drones in order to intercept them en route further into Ukraine, such as, as shown here, near Odessa and along the Black Sea coast, or maybe around the area not just to the north of Kyiv, somewhere like that. Or even maybe to provide point defence near key targets which Russia might target. So airfields, schools, nurseries, hospitals and the like. As far as I can tell, these haven't been deployed in action yet, so it remains to be seen if these will be useful in practice. But it's certainly impressive that Ukraine has developed the technology so quickly. So that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting. Thanks so much for watching, and take care everybody.